in this lesson we'll create the table. So what we're going to do is create a quarter of the table and we're going to mirror it across uh, twice so that we create the, the full table. And this is a technique that's used in uh, CG quite a lot of the time. If you've got a symmetrical object, you can just create part of it and it just saves you time. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to deselect, press A to deselect, and then just create a cube. So create cube, there's our cube, I'm just going to scale it. So just scale it down a little bit. Okay, so we're going to split this into quarters, so we'll just use uh, edit mode and then we're going to go into tools and loop cut and we'll click and then we'll right click to get that exactly in the middle and then we'll click again, we'll try it again, loop cut and slide and then we'll right click to have that in the middle again. Okay, so now what we'll do is we're going to create this quarter here. So we're going to use loop cut to create a face which we're going to use to extrude the leg from. Okay, so I've just extruded. So I've just added another loop there and add another loop here. Okay, I'm just doing this by eye. If you wanted to, you could turn on snapping and so you can turn on snapping and change it to increment so that it snaps to increments so it's roughly the same size. I'm not going to bother with that right now. So now we've got this face here. So if we go to the bottom here, we can take this face and extrude it down for the leg. So let's go ahead and grab the face. So we'll go to face mode, select this face, and then we'll press E to extrude. And you can see I've got snapping on, so it's snapping in increments there. And then I'll just maybe move this up a little bit, just turn off snapping. Shift tab is, is the shortcut for snapping, so if you want to turn that off while you're doing it. And if you've got t snapping on and you press control, the snapping will turn off as well. So you can temporarily turn it off. We can delete the quarters that we don't want and mirror this. So let's get rid of the stuff that we don't need. Okay, so we'll just get rid of the stuff that we don't need. So I press tab. I'm going to use the box select mode to select these faces. Let me just zoom in here. Okay, and what I need to do is turn on this visibility button. So now we can see the back faces. So we can press B for our box select. Click and drag with our left mouse button over the faces that we don't want. Press X to delete, and we're going to delete faces. And I'll do that again for this side here. I'm going to press B click and drag, press X, and get rid of the faces. So now we only have a quarter left, we're going to go back to the object mode, and then we'll go ahead and mirror. So how do we actually mirror? Well, we apply something called a modifier, and a modifier is located in this kind of wrench icon here, and you can add modifiers here, and you can see that they're categorized into different areas, and basically what they do is they change the shape and object shape of an object so you can do things like create arrays of objects you can join objects together or cut them in half you can do quite cool stuff like build an object and this is great for animation you can make something thicker with solidify and
here is for rendering. So basically, if you don't want this to show during rendering, you can turn this off if you want to, and you can just have it view show in the viewport, but not render. You can also have the opposite, so you can have it show in the viewport, not show in the viewport. So if I press this button, it's not showing in the viewport, but when I render, it should be it should be there. And then you've got this button here, which is great for seeing the end result. So if I press tab, you can see actually my object is only this object. But if I want to see the end topology for the rest of the object, I can press this button here and I'll see those objects, uh, the, the faces that were going to be created and I can select those there or I could select them on the original object and you can see it shows you and it highlights what's being affected. So that's quite handy as well. I'll just turn that off and to get rid of your What Blender is doing is it's actually calculating what's going on and it's basically taking this and then mirroring it each time uh, you press play. But what we need to do is we need to bake this in and just apply this once we're happy with the shape and then it will just be one object. Okay, so let's just go ahead and bring everything back now. I'm going to press Alt H to do that. Let's come out of uh, edit mode first. Then I'll press Alt H and you can see it's all back. And we're just going to adjust the size of this. So let's move this across first of all. Click on the object and I'm just going to move it across. And I'll just put it in the middle of this. It should make it a bit easier. Use your snapping to so turn on your snapping and turn on face and you can click on this arrow here and make sure you click on the floor and it should snap to the floor okay so I'm just going to turn that off right now and what we'll do is come into edit mode again I'm just going to press F to frame this up and then go into edit mode and then what we'll do is select these side and you can see the modifier is still working so it's updating in real time which is really cool and then you can go ahead and do the same thing here press A to deselect and then B to grab everything on this side and then just make it a bit deeper That. So I'm going to press tab to come out of edit mode and just move it back a bit and just maybe center it up a little bit. Okay, so once you're happy with your table and you're happy with the shape of your table, um, you can just make sure that this clipping is turned on and that just removes any artifacts that you might have. It basically prevents things from overlapping in the in the border. So if I press tab, just show you. So if I were to grab this vertex and grab it over the border, it won't actually be able to go over that border of the um, of the mirror. So basically, it will keep a nice straight line there, and it will. You should have faces there, but you can see that they're doubling up. So if I just undo, let me just get rid of this visibility thing and I'll just show you what I mean. So if I move this down, you can see that one is only one face, but 
some of these ones are actually doubled up okay so sometimes it does that with the mirror but it's not a problem it's quite easy to get rid of all that stuff so we just press a to select all of this stuff a just press it twice to deselect and reselect and then we'll just come down to the tool shelf here and just say remove doubles okay and you'll see the color change there and now you can see that we'll get, we've got rid of those extra faces that were inside there okay so that's a good way of getting out of trouble if you've got some dodgy geometry applying this remove doubles is really useful okay so now we'll go press tab and let's just name this table and then we'll save so we'll just go to file save as and and save it as 04 and save in this lesson we created our table and we used the mirror modifier to do that